What's up, Future Fighters? We are back, and we're going to get right into it. Uh, this is where we left off from the last video, and this is the move we're working on, number nine. It's a counter projectile one shot. And here's the AI. This is what the AI is thinking uh, at this particular moment. Script and combo. He escaped the combo. He's close to the opponent, and his link is positive, just meaning the link... Uh, me, the link energy to link energy reserve is positive. Um, is when I say positive, it's actually not positive or negative. It's actually um, it would be um, above one. So that's what I mean there. So obviously, link is greater than link meter reserve. That's just a shorthand for me to be able to write it. So these are the messages the AI displays when I have the thinking, the show thinking on, on the screen, so I can see what the AI is thinking at the time for debugging purposes. So what he does is he counters, um, and he wants to keep close and stay, and stay where he's at, because um, he's got plenty of link meter, and he can go to the next move. So this, this is interesting. Uh, why why counter though that is something that's different um sorry i'm in the new studio i'm still get, i'm still getting adjusted uh to things uh i've got pl i got a lot more room to, to move <laughs> which i'm not i'm not actually used to um my previous studio it was uh it was a lot tighter it was still a big room not this big and the setup i have um I don't have a desk anymore, so everything's mounted to the wall, and uh, which leaves a lot more room to maneuver and to move around. So, uh, so yeah, it's good. Um, so why is there a counter here? Oh, because okay, so we're coming out of combo escape. So our block is is held down. Our block button. That's uh, here. Block. So that's block in Future Fighter. Oh, um, so that'll only apply to people who have early access now or who have had early access in the past and want to get it again. They can go to docbrockgames.com. Uh, they can go to the node on docbrockgames.com and get that. Um, and so um, they can actually get the game. I don't have early access uh for new signups anymore at closed on Monday. So if you're interested in getting the next release of the game, uh, go to docbrockgames.com and scroll down the bottom and put your email in. And then, and well, subs go to docbrockgames.com and subscribe to this channel first at the top and then go down and put your email in. And I'll email you when, when, it's, uh, when it's released. So you can get it. You have opportunity to get it. So, block is already held down. Counter, keep close, stay put. So yeah, we want to counter them. Let's take a look at these other moves. I'm, I'm uh, interested in in that. Uh, so let's just put that over there so we can reference it. And let's bring up this so we can find our move so zero is counter strike one shot forward combo stay in so counter strike moving forward oh it, and actually these lead to a combo hmm. well, let's take a look at that okay we're going to go to what are we going to go to this one. So here we go. We can just go up. We want to go to the reference files, course, um, shadow AI, and Counter Strike one shot forward combo stand. Let's. I want to. I want to see these combos. So we just want the readable. Can we get that? How about this?
Interesting. I wonder why I put them in reverse order. That's strange. Hmm. Oh no. Anyway. So put those bad boys over there. So here we are. Um it doesn't matter that block is already held down by the AI. You can press it. It, it can be triggered again. It won't do anything. But uh, move forward. The jump, that's actually what triggers a counter in Future Fighter. It's one of the best parts about Future Fighter is the ability, the way the counters are set up. Uh, move forward is released. Block is released. And then you go into a short-range combo. This is actually something that we may be changing because um, the way we design the AI not necessarily necessary but this is something that I've really been working on very diligently and it all has to do with this code here, strike control. And um, you can go back and watch the previous videos on strike number and strike control on how all this works. But we can trigger this here, and it will automatically go here to do combos. So there's really, we don't have that big need anymore, because we programmed very smartly. We don't have that big need anymore to have any moves after. Now, um... We'll be going back through these again. And we might go ahead and take that kind of stuff out, actually. And there may, there may really, uh, well, not, not take, uh, take it out. We, we don't need to take it out. We just don't need to trigger it here. Um, necessarily. But you could. Because kind of what's going through my mind is there are times when you might just want to use a counterattack move when you're going in. Even uh, offensively, you can use counters to go in. So that actually makes sense to have it linked here. It gives you another option. So what will happen is you will... Let me show you what will happen. Oh my gosh, I've got two versions of the game running. What did I do? <laughs> I can't be right. Oh man, okay. So let me make sure the sound levels are, yeah, they're good. It should come through real crisp for you. Actually, they're a little loud for me. I don't have my uh, pro audio system up. I'm using my amplifier, actually, for my, uh, my uh, like my Blu-ray and media player <laughs> kind of have my PC hooked up to that to the surround sound so it's kind of interesting playing with different stuff so so what am I talking about here so this move is a short long that's that's what this move is like this boom boom Oop. Boom, boom, boom like that I don't know the exact timing between between the moves or not on this particular one, I didn't look at the timing. But that's what you're doing. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom, boom. And you can see it on my controller, the, uh, the actual technique on how you do it. And that's the thing about Future Fighter is that uh, you know you control everything in Future Fighter. How you control, you know, how fast the moves play, and that actually controls the damage. Because if you if you cut the moves short, or if you let them play out, that changes. Because momentum is actually built into the game, um, and and torque follow through. So you actually have control over that, just like you do in real fighting. So 
in this particular case, oh, I hit him too many times. Yes, yes, that's fake win, not a real win. It's all right. This new setup is working out so good. I can't even explain to you how <laughs> how nice this is. But um, maybe I'll have to take some pictures later and put them up. So that's what you're doing, and in this particular case, you're coming out of a you're coming out of um, a combo escape, which is that this is how you perform a combo escape in Future Fighter. Um, and so coming out of combo escape, and you do that move. Uh, that's a perfectly acceptable move and what will happen is you'll get kicked back at the end of that combo you get kicked back to this script and because you're not 6 9 13 or 10 you'll go down here to the default and it'll set you to choose move minus one um, now that that might not necessarily be where you want to be because um if you're at choose move minus one you're um you're not going through strike control at all you're just getting set you're just getting set to minus one um, at the end of the combo and that's going to take you back to the main code the main AI code which is here minus C is less than one right here so and that's going to go through threat assessment and all that jazz And right now, what we're really seeing is an opportunity to stay in. Now, you could get to that if there's no threat present. Um, and you're not in these areas. The opponent isn't in the gravity stream. Um, you're not far away in the bottom corner of the lower platform so you jump in the you, you jump in the gravity stream um, of course you'd have to have a low link meter as well you know you, what I'm saying is why go through all of this when you're close because here you're close. When you come out of combo escape, you are close to the to the other guy. And really that is what this is saying. Now this is a great move to do because number nine kicks you right back at the end of the combo. Kicks you right back into strike control at a well, well, sorry. It kick, kicks you back into move two, uh, uh, choose move, but at a minus two level, which gives you the ability to re-enter and start comboing again. So you don't, you're not constantly getting out. You're staying in a lot more. Um, you, there, there are exits. You know, there are exits. There is a check here. You know whether or not you should exit um, for different reasons here and here you know but there's also do I you know should I fight it should I fight out of the corner or should I continue comboing and that's really what I want to capitalize on for the AI and you know for you as players it'll just give you more of a challenge so very cool um, and 
super helpful. <laughs> and I'll, let me just do that one more time because I want to see if if I get kicked back here. Let's say I do. Link meter is good. If link meter is not, I'm checking the distance. But in these cases, I'll be close. Well, not necessarily. If you got hit by a pro projectile, you'd be here. And that's really smart. Here you would be close. Because both of these, you're close to the opponent. And, and you, sometimes you just got to fight out. If you're in the corner, you got you got to fight out. You can't. Even if your link meter's a little low, you've got that's what you got the reserve for. This is the reserve. This is why you have the reserve. Um, so you can do stuff like this. You always save a little in the tank. Um, so you can so you can do stuff like this. And and then. Um, This is you're you're not in the corner. So, but if you don't have to fight out, and you're close, and you're not in the corner, mice will get back and charge up. And I made a video about all that uh, before. So, this is, I mean, that's that's smart. So, I see I see how choose move, how that could be very advantageous uh, to have. I'm just gonna put that there. So, um, wow, that's really, really good. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a break here, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to do more code. Um, I'll see you then.